Hey everybody, welcome to Hilltop Machine Works. So it's time to get back on the uh, desk clamp build and uh, put some tape on the bottom so it wouldn't scratch this thing up. Got you over here at uh, my uh, do all bandsaw and of course the GoPro battery wants to die. Hang on guys, this is getting annoying. Okay, take two. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and use the bandsaw to take the majority of this uh, material off. And then we'll take it over to the belt sander and we'll work on that radius. And then finally to get the final dimension and a nice uh, surface finish, probably file it. So, uh, got you over here. This is a 1943 Dual ML16. So, um, let's go ahead and get some material removed. pretty thick and I only have like a, I think this is a 10 to 14 tooth blade. So it may take a little while but in no rush. And the blade has seen better days too. There are a couple teeth I think that are uh, kind of broken off or worn down. but surely all right just finished that cut there so uh, now let's take it over to the uh, belt sander and get us some nice radiuses okay just finished uh, on the belt sander so we got us a nice radius As you can see, so now what I need to do is just uh, rinse and repeat on this one here. And then what I'll do is, well, like I said, we'll file it, smooth this out, clean these edges up with the file, get her looking nice. And then once we get all that done, um, need to mill a flat and countersink the hole for the uh, screw head, if I can get one here for uh one of these round head screws so they'll fit nicely coming out like that so now i'm just going to uh you know file it down break all these edges kind of get nice and smooth and looking good so, nothing fancy, just, uh, you know, kind of hand filing it, working it. And I'm not going to bore you with uh, <laughs> all this file action, you kind of get the idea, but, uh, I'll get it looking good, spend some time on it here, trying to blend them all up. And I will uh, bring you guys back once I uh, get my radiuses satisfied. All right. So hopefully you guys can see that. I uh, got her all filed. Then I used some gray scotch bright. And I used uh, 220 paper and then 600. 
So I got her all cleaned up, looking pretty good. So the last thing we need to do is uh, let's hit this buffer and put some shine on her. What do you say, guys? So uh, do a little buffing action. Uh, clean my wheel up here. And we're going to use some uh, white compound. It's good for brass and aluminum and other metals similar. <clears throat> and I wish I had a shelf. But, uh, Oh yeah, it's coming out sparkly sweet. All right, I'm gonna work on this and once I'm done, I'll bring you guys back, hang on. Alrighty, just uh, got the compound off of her. She is shiny, looks good. I didn't do too much on the underside, I just hit it once, twice, but you're not gonna see much either. Same thing with this side, but this is what's going to be seen. So I think it came out really nice. And all I need to do is just uh, countersink these holes. But I got to uh, finish up the other one first. So, sweet. So we're over here at the mill, and it's time to countersink those holes for the brass screws. And, uh... You know, I originally drilled uh, quarter inch holes for the screws and you know just a good trick to help locate them is I got a 250 gauge pin in so I just went through and uh, lined it up that way and you know zero my DRO and then I got this coordinate here so we're good to go and dug through my end mills and I found uh, a 2960 force so that'll be perfect so it'll fit the head so let me get this stuff uh, swapped out get the end mill in and we'll plunge in and uh, get us some holes all right see if I got you in there good get down here and Get my fine feed. Let me speed it up a little bit. This is a regrinded end mill, also. It's a group lot I got from a buddy he gave me, so. You know who you are, I appreciate it. Cutting just fine. Just finished the first side. Figure I'd get the second side on camera for you. You can see it a little bit better. Got my depth set now. Got a new squeaky sound in my mill though. 
It just started a little while ago. there bottom nice let me uh, vacuum this up and get it out of there alrighty hope you guys can see that so uh, let me get that down in the hole doesn't want to see good So there you go, you get an idea of what we got going on. That one's a little bit snug, that one's fitting good. The head must be a tad bit off. Alrighty, I got a rinse and repeat on the other one. Okay, I think uh, the next step is we gotta start uh, getting the fixture inside the valve cover. So these are conventional bulbs, actually these are LED, but you know, the same basically size and diameter as what a conventional bulb will be. So this is what I think I need to uh, work off of instead of the cylinder bulbs because the cylinder bulbs, uh, you know, will give me a uh, false dimensions if I go off of them because if I get it too tight up in the valve cover, I won't be able to get these bulbs in. So I just kind of playing around. I'm trying to do this with you guys in the camera get some eyeballs on so I need to kind of so she's got to sit up in here and I'm not worried about this height yet I'm just worried about the depth here because we need to figure out where the block is going to mount to you know so that's kind of what I'm doing right now and so she's not sticking out but she's not too tucked in and it looks about uh, only about an inch from the lip on the bottom. So, but uh, let me go drill a hole. Well, let's uh, go for it. Just uh, center drilled it. Got a little bit of a hole started. So, I'm trying to do this without scratching it up. And I think I'm going to use this one to start with. Some people call them uni bits, and then we'll uh, go to the bigger one. There we go. Need a uh, 3 8 inch hole. And let me mark this bit here. Uh, go too deep. Three eighths. It's right there. All right. And hold it here. Might be there. A smidgen. Always needs a smidgen. Oh, yeah, perfect. Alrighty, there's the hole. And that's what's going to go through to connect. So, uh, I think what I want to do next is we need to um, get this um, connecting piece that's going to run from here and this is a press fit so it comes out of here and it's going to be going into here to the uh, light fixture and this is a 3 8 
24 thread. So, and of course we have to drill it out because the, uh, the wiring has to go through this thing also. So I think what I want to do is go ahead and make these first and that way we will know, actually this piece right here is almost perfect. Um, we'll know what we're dealing with before uh, we can get this all together and then we can put it in and then we'll know where to drill the holes and we can get this on the back of the valve cover. So uh, let's get over to the lathe and drill, um, actually I think I'm going to thread this part first and then um, that way I've got some meat on it and then we'll uh, um, drill a through hole. Swapped out the uh, three jaw for the collet chuck and I'm just going to champ for this and then we'll thread it. Something to get me started and I'm just going to uh, hand thread it because we don't really need much, maybe about 300 thou or so. And being brass, it should cut fairly easy. Feels like it is. Again, it's 24 thread. And that may be about all I need. I'll do a smidgen more, but I said, doesn't take much of this. All right, let me go get the fixture. Turn the air on. Okay, let's try this fixture and see if uh, we're good. Oh, yeah. Nice. That's all we need there. She's going to be bottoming out. Perfect. Cool. Now let's uh, drill a hole. Quick little uh, center drill. Okay, this is a seven thirty seconds. I had to switch. Uh, chucks because the big chuck wouldn't hold this little drill bit. Looks like it's cutting on both flutes, I hope. I don't want it to jam up on me. Feels like we're almost through. There we go, we're through.
Alrighty, there's just a quick, simple, easy part. Let's get over to the uh, table and see if this length is good or if we need to trim her down just a hair. All right, back over here at the table. And let's see here. Let's go ahead and get this screwed in. So what's going to happen is she's going to come in here like that. And then this, obviously it's going to be pressed in here. So let's see what about, and I need about three hands. Let me see here. Um, hold on, let me find something to put up underneath there. All righty, so now I think if we do, so we got about, uh, 300 thou to go in there, which would be off of here. There's 300 thou. So right there. Okay, I am going to uh, cut that off and I'll uh, make another one off camera. So let's uh, get the uh, little piece that we made pressed into the uh, back mounting bracket. Hopefully we can do this without marring it up. See if we can get her to start straight. So, crooked. Oh. Uh, let's see what happens. Oh, there you go. We're, we're in. Okay. Nice, there you go. So we're in, let's get back over to the welding table and get her together and then we can mark these holes and drill and uh, start uh, assembling the top end. Okay, it's uh, slowly coming together. I am just wiring the fixture now. Just using an um, 18 gauge, should be plenty. I did my numbers. I think we're only going to pull about one amp, so this should be plenty thick to handle our job. I guess it helps to get in a frame. Sorry about that, guys. I'm just trying to find, find it. There you go. Come on. get that gasket in there lined up it's trying to fight me there of course Okay, come on, baby. 
There we go. Now let me get these screws out. They were really snug. That way I can rotate it and um, get it right the position we want. So don't scratch because that will be my luck. There we go. <laughs> nope, a smidgen passed. All right, good deal. And let's get that retaining screw in. <laughs> That's a little, little bitty screw. I'm probably out of frame, but sorry about that. I'm trying to get the assemble here and show you guys with the camera in the way. Okay. Now let's get those screws back in. Okay, got that in. Let's double check, make sure we didn't screw up. There you go. Nice. So I've got about a finger between the bulb and the uh, back of the valve cover. Sweet. So that should be plenty of air circulation. That's the way she's going to look there. And now let's get uh, let's get this uh, pull in the right way, and she's starting to come together. Pretty cool. At least the top part is done. Let me fish these wires through. All right. And of course, she's going to have to go in this way. to a final assembly we'll put a little bit of Loctite on her but she's just gonna slide in there for now and let's get our base get an idea what she looks like feed these through for our switch and I need two hands Sweet. <laughs> All right, let me uh, back up and get you a shot there. What do you guys think? Pretty cool. Um, actually, we could hardwire it real quick and just kind of get an idea, see what it looks like. Hang on. All righty, let me get uh, this thing plugged in. I killed the uh, backlighting, so see what she looks like. <laughs> nice pretty pretty cool I like it 
Sweet. Let's uh, put the other bulbs in and kind of see what it looks like with the other bulbs. Uh, that's what it looks like with the uh, traditional bulbs in. They're only 25 water, so that's putting, only putting out 50 watts of warm white. Um, if I had a couple 40 waters, it'd probably be better, but uh, looks pretty cool. And uh, hold on, let me go handheld and we'll do a walk behind it. So this is what the uh, back looks like. So that's how the bracket looks. Hope the lighting is pretty good since I turned that uh, other light off. So pretty cool coming together. And uh, it's getting late, time to go inside and get some dinner. But uh, I'll get the other one done and we'll start, uh, we'll get it wired in the switch and I've got uh, the uh, brass plate and that piece of cardboard. So uh, getting real close. Hope you guys are enjoying it. And now you see how it's coming together.